Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you my first proper Chris Kringle team. I did show one a couple of days ago using two Chris Kringles, but it was more just for fun, really. But it did turn out to be pretty effective. I played quite a lot of PvP games with it and won them all pretty comfortably. The fun in that team was just basically giving all allies, in the end, over a thousand points to a random skill. It was absolutely nuts and done just for fun, but it was, like I say, pretty effective in pvp anyway but this is my first proper chris crinkle team if you like and we're using web spinner osseous tome border and chrissy crinkle we got web spinner at the top dishing out a triple a skull damage to poisoned and webbed enemies which they will be if you have that third trait and it deals a decent amount of damage to all enemies and creates green gems Osseous Tome explodes four gems for each blue ally and each elemental ally. We have four blue allies, so that is going to be 16 gems. That's going to be pretty much the whole board every single time. And we're going to be in a Titan class for this. All giant allies start with 50% mana. This is going to be the hero himself or herself and Balder. And I'm going to go for Impact, Counter Attack, Stone Circle, Dwarven Armor, Rock Solid, Lightning Strike, Fortitude as the talents. And a Medal of Arnu, just for the benefit of Chris Crinkle, give him a little bit of a head start on the mana. Balder is here because he creates four skulls boosted by blue allies. We have an all blue team, so that is going to be the maximum amount of skulls. And with that damage from Web Spinner, that is going to be absolutely devastating to the opposition. But it can get even worse for them because of the advent of Chris Crinkle's spell. Give all allies magic plus one points to a random skill and a random status effect does gain 50 gold 20 souls and two treasure maps there are ways to take advantage of that as well but this is all about a border at the moment and web spinner because anything that chris crinkle gives is going to benefit web spinner in one way or another if that benefit that plus 44 whatever it was goes on web spinner's attack that's going to put me on 100 attack which when you triple that that's going to be 300 skull damage that's going to be insane if it goes on her life or armor then that means she's more survivable which means she's going to be around longer to dish out with that awesome triple skull damage and if it goes on her spell then it'll be doing over 90 damage to wall which is absolutely brilliant at the same time so we can totally make use of that if it goes on borders or osseous tomes magic it doesn't make any difference to the spell whatsoever but anything else attack life or armor is all useful and of course the same for chris crinkle apart from if he buffs his own magic up then he'll be giving over 80 points to a random skill to all our allies, which is extremely cool. Now, one other cool thing about the banner is we're going to go for the Lion Banner from Leonis Empire. Plus two blue, plus one yellow, minus one green. Now, this is really good because with that plus one yellow, and if we take a look at the weapon here, it uses 14 mana, but we start with seven out of our required 14. 14. So if we get a mana surge on that, with that plus one, yellow means if we collect a yellow and get a mana surge, we're ready to cast Osha's Tome absolutely straight away. Same with Balder, because he starts with six out of his required 12. Any red there straight away, mana surge, we can get that and be ready to cast those skulls and start dishing out with that mega damage absolutely straight away. So basically, Chris Crinkle and his team can be used as the ultimate backup troop. Like he's not going to be the focus or the center of attention, but when he does cast, it's going to be really effective for the team and could be the difference between winning and losing or just doing things in an even more devastating manner. So there's a team. Let's see how it does. All right, so let's jump into a Explore 12 then. Anywhere will do. Where are we going? We're going for a walk through the forest. Right, now the cool thing about this team is you can play it based on whatever your starting board is. If you get red for a border because we haven't got any yellow for our Osha's Tome you can do that and you can then go about trying to play it in a way where you can cast your skull straight away we didn't get a mana surge on that then which is a bit of a shambles but we'll just take some some green then now our border is up our Osha's Tome up our Chris Crinkle is up now when we cast our Chris Crinkle whatever the benefit is because obviously it's a random increase to uh, each ally now whoever whatever it goes on on the web spinner at the top it doesn't really matter if it goes on its attack that is the best thing because we're gonna have like 90 odd attack and then that's going to be absolutely 
hideous damage with triple damage at the same time. But if it goes on its armor or life, that is good because it makes it more survivable. So it can do that triple damage for longer. And if it goes on its magic, I'm going to be doing 91 damage to all enemies now, which is going to be a really nice option to have. But um, let's cast this then and see what happens. Yep, we didn't get the boost where we wanted it. I think it went on uh, life instead, maybe. But we can now cast our border. It's not a bad thing that going on life on our web spinner just means that we are that much more survivable, which does not make the enemy happy. We can now cast our Osseous Tome. Let's put this blue storm. We got a lot of blue falling. This is going to charge up the team really fast. We'll take something like that and get a nice skull hit. Cast border again. Couple of nice early four matches there, and uh, yeah, the enemy do not survive for too long. Now that was mostly about a border and web spinner there, but uh, Chris Crinkle is like the ultimate backup troop. The amount of benefits it can give when you cast it is incredible because it can make a situation which was dire. You could be low on health and things like that, and be struggling a bit, and he can come along and just completely change the way the game is going to be be played, kind of thing. Yes, get a couple of them. And it's got our crinkle face up. There we go. Look, now our web spin has got 100 attack. With triple damage, that is going to be 300 skull damage. That's absolutely nuts. Cast Osha's time to charge the team. And now watch, watch web spin go absolutely berserk when we cast Border. See ya, see ya. Oh, lucky didn't get a match then, but by Astralidista. One life he survived on. Count yourself lucky. Go on then. Web spinner. Finish off. So we can look for yellow or red. No yellow there, so we can get red for our border. It's not a not a bad thing. There's a four match at the same time, which is really juicy. That's going to be a four match as well. Very, very nice. Let's cast Triss Crinkle. We've got a boost to armor there, which means our web spinner is going to last longer. Now we can just go about whacking around with some skulls for a bit. Let's cast Oshi's Tome to charge up the team, see what happens. Triss Crinkle's there again. Again, whatever it goes on on the web spinner is a good thing. But on our magic, we're doing 91 damage to all enemies. Skull hits are still terrifying for the opposition. He's gone. A little bit of a longer one, that one. But even though the web spinner was on 44 life then and near death, when I, if I'd have cast my Chris Crinkle again, Chances are it would have given her a nice boost to life or armor or something like that. So, very survivable team. I love Chris Crinkle as a troop. I think it's really, really good. I've actually had another idea, actually, while making this video of another team, which I think could work really well. So, I'll post that in the next few days, maybe. Let's charge up our team. Don't really cast Web Spinner's spell unless... Chris Frinkle gives, gives her a really, really nice boost. Well, that went on to armor, I think, then. We took a hit back, but yeah, we're still in good shape because of the extra armor that Chris Crinkle gave out. Chris Crinkle. I just said it a few times, it becomes a bit of a tongue twister. Yeah, I'm on now. Let's do this properly. Go, Boulder. Shame we didn't get a further boost to the um, attack. Not that it's not that necessary, because as you can see, we still generate loads of skull power. Just do the money, boss. Boulder's up already. That's not a bad thing. You can do that. No need to beat around a bush. Skull bash back there ourselves. We can look to get our Oshia's Tome up. Let's 
cast our Osseous Tome, see if we can get our Chris Crinkle up, and then if this gives life or armor to our web spinner, that'd be really nice. Thank you very much. Made it much more survivable. Let's charge up the team again. We'll take that while it's there. Yo, Boulder. See, our web spinner would have been dead already were it not for uh, Chris Crinkle, so I'm glad that game sort of went a bit awry like that. If we don't get any skull hits, which we do, we could have cast Chris Crinkle again, and again, if we didn't get life or armor, we would have got an attack boost or magic boost, so all those things are good. Let's do the mythic boss battle. And if you get the uh, boost on attack on our web spinner, then the game can go absolutely crazy fast. Like, like proper crazy fast. Like all these enemies just die like one after the other because you're going to get like 300 attack. Which is going to be mega effective. Not being too generous on my colours. Oh, that's a bit better. All right, let's see what we get. Life. Got charged up again. You don't have to cast it again, obviously. It's just a bit fun sometimes. Here we go. We've got triple skull damage now at a hundred damage. See you later. Bye bye. He barely survived, and we can use the basic damage to finish off. So a really cool troop. I love the way Chris Trinkle works. This is an all blue team, remember. I think this is going to be a decent Guild Wars team. Could be very usable in Guild Wars because Skulls do a lot of damage. Score good points in Guild Wars at the same time. And yeah, with the benefits that the Chris Trinkle gives out, this could be a really, really annoying team. Whatever it is, there's a video. If you enjoyed it, why not bash that like and subscribe button? It really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.